This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the Dark One away and gave the land light. This boy, who travelled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would come again to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the greener fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Doctor here and welcome to my new LP, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Probably my all time favourite game. Well, the original one is and from what I've heard this one's only better, so yay. I've never played this HD version so I'm as excited as I hope you are. Big brother! Oh, I still can't do female voices, can I? <laughs> That's not changed. You know what, I might not even bother with Ariel. Might give her a really deep voice, just in case. So here we are on... Big brother! Here we are on Outside Island, the <laughs> appropriately named beginning island of the game. And... We haven't actually seen the main character yet. But, but... <laughs> oh, even in the HD remake, it still kind of disturbs me that his eyebrows go through... Well, his hair goes behind his eyebrows, and in some cases, his eye which is kind of freakish when you think about it. It's like the mother of all ingrown hairs. Man, I'm having good commentary already, aren't I? Talking about ingrown hairs, yay. Hehe. <laughs> Link has such a derpy face here, it's hilarious. I knew you'd be here. Can't do a voice, not gonna try it, actually. Teehee, this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the girls, I call it Ariel's Lookout. Ariel, Ariel, I always called it Ariel, but that's actually wrong. Now I look at it. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? 
to the big brother, it's your birthday! Oh, he was surprised Jimmy much just in time with my commentary, that's awesome. That's why Grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. God damn it. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? So, yes. As I mentioned briefly there, I have played the original version of this game to death, but not to death, you can't actually play this game to death in my opinion. I played a lot is my point, but I've never played the HD version. I got it free with Mario Kart 8 and now I want to do an LP of it because my original GameCube version died a few years back anyway, so I've been looking forward to doing this for ages, to, just to playing back through it anyway, and you get to come along for the ride, so that's extra good. First thing we can do, never mind grammar, we can go and get some money. Who needs grammars when you've got money? God, it's not been a good start, has it? That's not a good line to ooh, open the LP with. Um, I really like the lighting here. It looks really interesting. I was very dubious when people said that when they announced the HD remake of this game because of all the games to HD, wasn't so sold on the idea of HDing the cartoon one, but it seems to have kind of worked. I will be commenting on things like that as I go along because I really don't know what to expect. I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Oh, see, look, that black one there, don't you see him? This is perfect, my wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to grab it, Doctor? Now you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert of their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close, you have to hold ZR to crouch and tilt left stick slowly to crawl up behind it. Slowly. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. I did not know you could distract it with bait, or I'd forgotten it. Uh, either way, I am going to sneak up on this pig, and then when we're close... Surprise, motherfucker! Nope, I, yep, okay, yep, that worked. I kind of rolled into it, which really hurt the pig in real life. Poor pig, but- Oh no! Oh, you bugger! Oh, I've lost my pig! Hi, Doctor! Press L to target me and use A to talk to me! Try it! Fuck off, I lost my pig to you, you little bugger. Come back, pig. Pick him up. No! Why did you- Oh, it was going so well, I had the pig first try. Come on. Nope, nope. Oh, yep. Surgeon? I'm gonna kill Sturgeon or whatever you're called. I'm gonna kill you. I presume he's called Sturgeon. I never actually checked. This is a character I never took. There we go. If you try and talk to me again, I'm gonna break your neck, okay? This is my pig. There's another pig. Hello, pig friend. So, when we've caught the pig, we bring it up here to this lovely lady called Rose. Um, can I jump in there? I'm gonna have to. Oop! Ooh, that looked painful. Poor piggy. Anyway, if I talk to her, she says, Why, did you bring that little piglet all the way up here just for me? Oh, thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home. Yes, sweetie. Oh, Doctor, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all at one place. Don't know what that voice is supposed to be either. Welcome to the legend. Oh, why this darling is even as cute as a button. You know, be ah, you know, it's so cute. I wouldn't mind having even more of them. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing voices for every character on this. Some I have planned, but some like that is just gonna I'm just gonna be making up on the spot and hoping for the best, really. So, what she would like is more pigs. So, on, let's oblige her and kidnap all the pigs on the island. Literally. It's odd that she's saying I think about having a pet pig when there's only actually three pigs on the entire garden island, so they're kind of pets already because it's a re relatively small island. Um, talk to her again now, she'll go, Did you bring me another piglet? Oh, you're all worried about this guy get lonely hanging outside the fence all himself? I didn't even read that properly. Uh, fuck that. <laughs> this is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much for bringing us another family member. Here's a little shaman for you. Don't even know what that voice is even trying to be. But there's one more piglet on the island, and I can't exactly remember where it is, so we might just come across that. The pig population of this island must be very inbred as well. There's only three of them. That's not at all enough to sustain a viable population. Anyway, we can do something else here. And not there, we can do something else here. We can crawl under the decking. But there is a purpose to this. I'm not just completely mad. Well, I am completely mad, but there is also a purpose to this, because if we crawl under here, we'll find there is a secret hole under this house. Well, it's our house, no less. I hadn't until recently thought of the implications of this, but yes, there's a chest under our house, and if we open it, it has... You got an orange rupee! Just one of these is worth a thousand... A thousand? I wish it was a thousand. Hundred rupees! Your face is beaming! Rupee is the currency of... At least a dinosaur planet. Still haven't moved on since my last LP. The currency of... The Great Sea, I suppose this is the world and this is called. But since so that's under your house and your grandma's house, that was probably your grandma's kind of life savings slash retirement nest egg that you just essentially stole. So, that ain't good. Anyway, let's go catch us a third piggy while we're out here. Uh, shall we do the Yeah, we'll do the pig first. I think it's over on the other side of the island. 
Yeah, there's definitely there's a black one. There's a oh, I'm swimming apparently. You'll see also in the bottom right. You'll see the swim gauge. This is the only Zelda game where you can't swim forever, and that is because of <sighs> completely ran out of words there. That's because of the fact that the entire map is sea, so they need to be able to have some way of stopping you from just going everywhere all at once. So they kind of limit you by limiting your swimness. Right, and let's take this back to Rose. And here is the daily pig delivery. Boink! Oh, that went right through her. Oh, look at this, you found another pig. You know where to find the cutest pig. not going to do that voice anymore, so... And we get a third and final red rupee. So we got 60 rupees just by delivering pigs. So that's pretty good. Did she just call them oinky woinkies? I'm very glad I wasn't reading that out. That'd be terrifying. I don't want to have to say oinky woinkies in that voice, but I did it anyway. Oh, uh, that's the kind of person I am, evidently. Anyway. Ages ago, what it feels like now, we were sent to find our grandmother. So, she is in this house. I love the inside house. Well, I love it in all the Zelda games, but it's really good in the Wind Waker, I find. Anyway, here's Grandma. <coughs> Let's do another voice, apparently. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. <laughs> that sounds really weird as well. Doctor, try these on, dear. She didn't say dear, but she's a grandmother. They always say dear all the time. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Oh, he looks so sad. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little... Bleh. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Oh, they look so sad, Link. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is the day to celebrate. It is the day you become the same age as the young hero spoken in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Now, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about sword play. Yes, I'm emphasizing those because the game does it too. Clearly, it's important. Hanging the family shield on the wall as a decoration is also another tradition that is carried down from those days. She's turning more and more into Sean Connery as I go along, so... Does this all make sense to you? Let's, let's dial it back on the lisp a little bit. God, he looks very disappointed, doesn't he? Isn't that nice, Doctor? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, I'm going to invite the whole town over your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make your favourite soup for you tonight. Mmm! I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister Ariel. Ariel? Maybe it's Ariel. Or like Ariel. It's like the little mermaid. Could be that. It's definitely not Ariel, Ariel but I'm going to call her that anyway. Because I'm wrong, apparently. But... I was going to say something. Oh yeah, that was what I was going to say when she talked about inviting the whole town over, which, as we can see, is pretty much like, what? There's two houses, three houses other than our own, so there's probably only about ten people. I wonder how often people actually leave this island. Hmm. Never thought about that before, anyway. But yes, you said, go fetch your sister, Iril. Oh, I need to stop calling her Iril now I know it's wrong. Now it's kind of grating on me a bit. But, yes, we need to go and fetch her, and she is up at Aril's lookout. Aril. Maybe it's Aril. Aril. This is really... Yeah. Uh, anyway, if we go up the ladder... Oh, you climb ladders faster on this version, I think. As I say, I'll be, I'll be noting the differences between the HD and normal version just because I don't know this version. So, I've never played it, nor seen anything of it, really, so that's going to be awesome. Anyway, let's talk to her again. <clears throat> Preparing the voice. Ah, hi, big brother. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Doctor, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! Didn't give me a chance to close my eyes. You got the telescope! This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Set it to X, Y, or R, and use it by pressing whatever button you send it to. Do it now and see what you can see. Use the gamepad. Ooh, using the gamepad you can also touch and slide items to set them. I read that's eat them, that's really weird. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift for because, because you're my, just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> okay, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house from here. So do I just... Ooh, that's cool. Oh, I like that you don't have to pause to change items now. That's awesome. Oh, God, hold on a sec. It's got gyroscope controls on. That's horrible. Oh, God, I can't see shit. Because I'm sitting down with the gamepad, like, on my, on, in my lap. Oh my god. Yes, I am looking at the red post box. I just can't hold it steady, because I have really shaky hands, apparently, and I'm holding it at a really awkward angle. There we go. Oh shit, yo! That postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? He looks like he's also excited about something. Ah, Doctor, look! In the sky! <gasps> 
it's a thing with a woman. Never good. Wait for it, and splat! That took longer than I expected. Right in the kisser. And ker... Plunk. <laughs> that was all very exciting, wasn't it? Now can I turn bloody gyroscope controls off? Doctor, this is so terrible, that kill fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something to defend yourself with. That's a very interesting take on the whole, it's dangerous to go alone. Also pirates, there, apparently. Yeah, stuff's happening very quickly. So, first things first, hold on a sec, I'm just going to go into the options and turn off blinking gyroscope controls, because that's horrible, because of the way I'm sitting. So as I say, I'm sitting down with like the gamepad flat, so I'm not like pointing it at the TV, because if I do, then it, I'll basically hit my microphone very hard. And I don't want to do that, I like it. So, it's too dangerous to go alone, we need something to defend ourselves with. So, do you remember earlier that Orca is the only one on the island who knows anything about swordplay? <laughs> Shouted swordplay and then nearly jumped into the sea. That was very odd. But yes, so the game's given us some obvious hints, and oh no, not you. And don't talk to me about pigs. Right, if we go into... ignore him on the roof, because I'm in a bad mood with him since he's distracting me from pigs. If you go underneath his house, though, into the kind of the lower area, then we find... none other than... Orca! Oh, what is the matter, Doctor? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look of your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Doctor? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of this horde? Yes, sir. That was a bit slow there on the diddle loom. Anyway, very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Hopefully this accent doesn't sound too racist. <laughs> but he kind of sounds like that anyway when you hear him speak. Good, keep coming at me until you hear me say, very good. Nice and straightforward here. Dun, dun. I love the little musical rings it does on this when you hit enemies. Oh no. Oh, I've missed this after playing Skyward Sword. It's nice to just be able to like press buttons again. I kind of like the Skyward Sword style. It was interesting, but now it's nice that you can just, you don't have to think too much about your attacking style. You can just like... Press buttons. Skyward Sword was nice, but I hope they never do it again. Like with the motion controls. The actual game, I loved. But anyway, spin attack. Whee! Oh, sorry, Orca. I think I smashed one of your pots. And smash. Are we nearly done with you now? Next is a parry attack. Now, this is unique to Wind Waker. When, you, when he attacks you, you press A to do a parry, which is awesome. That's never been in another one, apart from kind of there are some secret skills in... Uh, in Twilight Princess that are kind of like that, but other than that, no one's ever, it's never been done again in a Zelda game, so that's interesting. And jump attack is the same as ever. Just press A to jump at him and come at him once more. There we go. That was a fine display. And yet I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond a mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Doctor. I give it to you freely. Take the blade with you. You accepted the hero's sword, wield it with B, use it wisely and carefully, you don't want to let down the kind old man who's entrusted it to you. Wow, that was fast speaking. Uh, let's not do that again. Blade's apparently infused with the desire to do righteous and strong. Exactly how one puts that into a blade, I have no idea. It's the whole kind of into this ring he poured his cruelty, malice and will to dominate all life. Which I don't think are really part of the forging process, but hey. Metaphors, poetic license, all that. So now we are armed to the teeth with a tiny little sword. So what we need to do now is head up to the Forest of Fairies. Though we don't know it's called that yet, but it is. Or Outset Forest, you can call it. Oh, this is one thing I've missed. Free camera control. Yeah. Uh, much as I liked the Wii, it did not have enough buttons. It's nice to have buttons again. I enjoy buttons. I don't even like saying the word. So now we can proceed up this path. And... Well, if we'd come up here before and tried to go and rescue the woman who fell into the forest, we would find trees blocking our way, which can't possibly find any other way round other than to slice straight through them. It's the kind of game this is. Is rolling faster in this game? I never forget. I think I've discussed this before in Star Fox, but I'm still never convinced of what game is rolling as faster in and what games it's slower in. So, 
Who knows? But now if we just cross this very stable looking bridge. Ooh, a rupee. <coughs> Ooh, a rupee. If we cross this very stable looking bridge, then we get to the Forest of Fairies, which we will be entering next episode. Because um, we're pretty much at 20 minutes. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this opening episode of The Wind Waker. And I hope you'll join me pretty much tomorrow. I'm going to try and get this thing out every day. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow for the next episode of The Wind Waker. Thank you very much and good day.